What's up, everybody? This is Get Sweaty, and I'm your host, Melissa Alcantara. Some of you know me from my own weight loss transformation. Some of you know me as Kim Kardashian's trainer, but today I have a new workout victim. Some of y'all know him from being on every beat or balling out with Roddy Rich, but most of you know him as Mustard, one of the hottest producers of today. Welcome, Mustard. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. All good. right. So before we get into this warm up, I want our viewers to warm up to you. You are looking mighty fine. Thank these you. Days. Appreciate that. You know, <laughs> so I'm doing what I can. You know what I'm saying? How did you have to adjust your lifestyle? And like, how many times are you working out these days? Million and thirty-five extra millions on top of that. <laughs> and I'm working out six days a week. Six days. Yep, twice a day. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. It's I hard mean, out here. yep. Especially when you really, really want something, it's like. You know, in the beginning, you got to put in a lot, a lot of work, but then yeah. it becomes easier, you know. Yeah. One time, as time goes bit. by. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so how do you feel the skills you learned during your fitness training relates to your success today? I think it relates a lot because it's almost like when, you, when you're when losing weight, it's almost like once you actually do it, in your mind, it's like, okay, I can do anything now. Because yep. you think it's impossible when you're that big or... If you're overweight, you're just like, oh my God, I gotta lose how many pounds? Like, you know? <laughs> and then you start seeing the scale drop and you start looking and say, like, oh, I could do this. Yeah, and then you get motivated. You get motivated you to it. And then I just applied that to work. So it's like, if I'm doing music one day, it's like, I can, there's nothing that I can't do within, you know, music. So. Yeah. All right. So you know how you start like a million times? There are a million Mondays where you're gonna do the thing and you just, what was, what changed this time? What made you take fitness seriously this time? Or were you just always, into it. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely still not into it. Um, <laughs> you know, we, we, we all got into quarantine and it kind of like forced me to stay in the house and kind of focus on my weight. Yeah. And I, I started running around the community, well, walking. I started walking around the community doing three miles a day with my wife. And that led to doing five miles. And then it led to hill sprints. <laughs> then I got a trainer and it was just like a That's whole a thing. and. Yeah, yeah, that's how you do it. It's like a progression, yeah, you know? Yeah, I kind of got excited with seeing the scale drop. I would weigh myself every day. But that's how it is, isn't it? Yeah. It's like you start one day and before you know it, yeah. you're here, you exactly. know? Yeah. So that's why it's like it's never too late to just start. And, exactly. you know, quarantine gave a lot of people the, the time and the headspace yeah. to, like, focus on themselves, work on themselves. So, you know, trying to make the best out of a crazy situation, right? Have you ever struggled with your fitness journey? I'm pretty sure the answer is yes. It's like Jesus. still struggling. Yeah, I'm struggling right now. I'm struggling. Yeah. Um. <laughs> like, uh, what? So, how do you stay consistent then? Like, what makes you keep doing this every single day? Um, I you think know? just having people around me that's kind of, you know, we all have our times where we're just eating anything that we yeah. want to eat. I got a group of people that I just, I go to the gym with my manager, goes to the gym with me every day, my assistant goes every day. Um, so did they go day. before you started? No, no, of or? course I started. It's me. I started. But you know, but you we see, all, that's the best part. You yeah, kind of feel like responsible too, like yeah. to keep this up because people are watching yeah, you. Yeah, and if you don't go, it's like we got a group chat, and it's like they, they know, get at you. It's just ridiculous. Now that you are like taking control of your health, your fitness, you know, like making those decisions, how has your athleticism affected your leadership skills? I don't know. I've just been a leader my whole life. <laughs> It's hard but, being a leader out here. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard out here for a pimp. Yeah. No, but it's true. It's like a lot of people who go through these kinds of journeys are just true leaders from the get. Yeah. It's just that now you just apply it to your fitness, yeah. you know? Yeah. So it's like saying something hard it. in front of you and then you actually do it. It's like, I yeah. knew I could do that. You know exactly. So. Like you already know in your head. That's yeah. what I was telling you, telling you earlier. I was like, backflip, I got it. Yeah. Even though, you know, I can't do no backflip. Take us a long time, but. <laughs> <laughs> Manifest it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, all, right. all right, so forget about these damn questions. So we are going to get started with our get power move. All right, because what's a boot camp without a power move? <laughs> it's going to make everything else much, much harder. Okay? We got 30 seconds. We're moving. 30 seconds rest. You ready to get started? Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah. All right, we're gonna start on the ground with moving shoulder tap push-ups. Oh, man. And we're gonna start moving to the left side. Yep. Hand and foot together. We're gonna tap, tap, 
push up. Oh, push up. <laughs> and then go right. All right? Yeah. We're going to start in three, two, one. Let's go. Tap, tap, push up. All right, right? Nice. Tap, push up. Right. Tap, tap, push up. Beautiful. <laughs> tap, Begin the tap, push up. <laughs> All right. Tap, tap, push up. Let's go left. Woo. Tap, push up. Two more. Let's go right. Push up. Last one. Tap, tap, and push up. <laughs> All right, come on. We got 30 seconds. 30 seconds rest. Breathe in your nose, out your mouth. Next move, we got jumping jacks. Let's go, 30 seconds. So just breathe nice and easy here. I want you to touch your fingertips at the top, like back in the sixth grade. Oh my, PE. <laughs> Who knew jumping jacks were so hard back then? Man. All right, we're just breathing. Core is tight. We got five seconds left. Ooh, calves are already burning. All right, a couple more seconds. And let's rest it out. All right, we got 30 seconds. Going into lateral jack, so same as a jumping jack. You're just bringing your arms out and then in. Just make sure that your shoulder and wrist are in the same line, all right? So keep them arms high. I know they're gonna wanna come down. All right, and let's go. These are hard to they look. <laughs> they are. Arms get heavy real quick. All right, toes together. Wide jumps. We got eight seconds. Oh yeah, baby. Starting to sweat. Two and one. All right, take them out. <laughs> All right. Butt kicks, because I'm gonna kick your butt. <laughs> but now you're gonna kick your own butt. All right, so chest is up, core is tight. I really want you to get that heel to your booty. Yeah. Okay? Feel it. I'm not making heel. All right? Okay. Use your arms. Two and one. Kick your butt. Like this, right? Yes. Okay, nice and high. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, man. These seem cool in the beginning. <laughs> this part. <laughs> All right, keep going. We got 20 seconds. One after the other, right away. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, calves are spicy. Let's go, 10 seconds. Breathe. And let's rest. All Woo. right. Take them out. Remember, this is the warm up. Jesus but we ain't playing no games. So it's like a squat with a jack. Okay, so jumping in between. All right? Just tapping those feet in, tap out. And in. So wait, do it one more time. Yep, okay. exactly. Let's go. Yes. Nice. Light on your feet like a like a gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep breathing. We got one more move after this. I don't know about you, but I am definitely warm. Yeah. <laughs> Five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right. Breathe. Deep breath. I think we should just end it here. I <laughs> Last off push-ups. So let's start. Get down on the ground. We're gonna start. Oh, man. Jesus Christ. And so what I want you to do is rotate those elbows inside. Engage your I don't chest. Know elbows can't rotate. Rotate. <laughs> yes, you can. Rotate. All right. No, right? no. Keep your fingers straight. Yes, just All like right. that. All right. Perfect. All right, and then you're just gonna bring your booty back, yep. and then bend your elbow slightly for a little push up, and then back again. Boom. All right. You ready? 
That's what you gotta be sleeve, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got five seconds. Three. All right, let's go. Booty back. And then, right. yep. Beautiful. Remember, we got 30 seconds. And <laughs> give it that little push up. Yep. We got 30 seconds. <laughs> Trust me, I'm dying too. And this is just the warm up. So just keep breathing. To the effort. Come on. Give me two more. Last one. All right, bring those knees down. <laughs> Let's rest it out. I think that's the full thing. I don't think we need to do real. <laughs> warm up, go home. <laughs> For real, I'm sweating enough. That was a good warm up. Look at you sweating like crazy. Me too. Yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit uh, tired. <laughs> Come on, Ita. Can't do that. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay, my knee's bad. I'm getting old. Can't wait to sit down. <sighs> my body broke. <laughs> and that was just the beginning. You better be ready for some more. I'm not. All right. <laughs> so, we want to get to know more about you. Okay. So, you know, being consistent is obviously like super important to build a successful future. Like what are some moments you feel like you had to push yourself to new heights? New heights? I think right now is that <clears throat> I'm in that moment as of right now where I'm like, I've lost weight, but I need to lose a little more to get yeah. to my goal. And I just look in the mirror and I'm like, man, I look good. So some days I just be like, oh, I ain't gonna work out today. <laughs> But uh, yeah, yeah, I think now. But you it's the know, you part. still have to like. Yeah, I got a lot. You gotta I, keep it I, up. A long way to go. A long way to go. So this is the part. I think I'm in that stage right now. Right now. Yeah. All right. So what pressures did you face on your way to this level of, of success now? Like, how did you deal with with all those pressures? I don't think I dealt with them. I think I just kind of pushed them to the side. You know, like when you when you big, it's like I'll worry about it later. You know, yeah. I'm young, and then before you know it, you're 30, and it's like, all right. Let me figure this out and acknowledge it now. And I kind of got tired like going on stage and DJing and I was just like so tired. Like yeah. being that big trying to DJ and stuff like that. It's like you're just drenched in sweat, your clothes messed up, obviously. <laughs> and I'm, I naturally sweat a lot. I don't know why, but so it was I. even worse when I was that big. And um, Do you feel I like think, people like wanted a lot from you? I think so. I think it's just hard doing both as far as like music and then dealing with my weight. So I think what makes all the sense in the world now that we're saying this is when, when we was in quarantine, I kind of didn't have to do music. I didn't have to do anything to focus on So my all weight. those pressures were kind of like gone. Gone, it was just like, you have nothing else you. to do. If you don't do it right now, this, you just don't want to do it. At this point, you have nothing to do. You're in the house every day. No excuses. No excuses. <laughs> Cut all the excuses off, so yeah. So your passion for music and creating some of the top beats takes a lot of discipline, right? Yeah. To like really create the best product possible. How have you applied that worth ethic to your fitness journey? Man. I mean, you just go hard. That's what yeah, it is. If it ain't good it. enough, you ain't yeah, even putting it out there. I always tell myself, like, if you're not trying to be the best, then what are you doing it for? Why are you doing it? And yeah. for me, I think I've been in a constant battle with myself and trying to be the best version of myself. Even though I mess up along the way and stuff like that, Everybody I just mess does. up. It's okay, we all mess up. Yeah. Get back up, do it again. And as long as you keep doing that, you'll form some type of consistency. Yep. And then from there, you just, it becomes a habit. And then that's where it comes, the lifestyle change that everybody tells you about. Yep. Before you know it, you're in a lifestyle change. <laughs> now you're a trainer on something. <laughs> hey, you trying to take my job? No, no, no. <laughs> I couldn't train nobody. All right, Monster, last question. This is a good, fun question, music related. What was your favorite collaboration thus far and why? Most fun would probably have to be my artist, Ella May, because oh, it was building it from scratch. She's my girl, scratch. I love yeah. her. It's kind of like building it from scratch and well, building the career, her career yeah. from scratch. Nobody knew her. The excitement of like your first time out and seeing her become who she is. And that was the most exciting for me, at least. I yeah. love her. Yeah, she's dope. Shout out Ella. Ah, that makes me so happy. <laughs> All right, well, Mustard, thank you so much for thank participating. You. But you know, it's only halftime, baby. We That's got ridiculous. more to do. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next week for our next episode where we're going to work it out.
Are you ready for this? No. I'm not. No. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. This episode has been brought to you by the U.S. Army. For more information on careers at the U.S. Army, go to goarmy.com. <laughs>